Headline tonight, there are shocking new details from inside the trial of Rod Blagojevich. Now, according to a private email exchange from 2006, Obama's chief of staff, Rahm Emanuel, tried to swap political favors with the former Illinois governor in return for agreeing to write a public letter of support for the troubled governor. Then Illinois Congressman Emanuel asked Blagojevich for help releasing a $2 million grant for a school in his district. Now, after the letter ran in the Chicago Trib and the funding had not yet begun, Rahm replied via email saying, quote, what the hell is holding up the school funding? This is a real problem for me now. And Rombo's questionable, questionable behavior doesn't stop there. Today, former Blagojevich chief of staff John Harris took the stand and testified that just two days before the 2008 presidential election, Rom called him regarding the open Senate seat and asked, quote, whether it would be helpful if Senator Obama called the governor to advocate for this individual. Now, Harris says that individual was none other than future presidential senior advisor Valerie Jarrett. So what do these new revelations mean for Obama's main man? And were there any actions there illegal or is he just over the line? Joining me now with reaction in Little Rock is Republican fundraiser Noel Nick Poor in Chicago, criminal defense attorney, Fox News contributor Tamara Holder. And uh, she was at the courthouse today to hear the drama firsthand. All right, Tamara, there's a lot to get to today. But uh, first of all, your initial reaction. Well, you know, I think that we're talking about two different issues here. We're talking about a 2006 email exchange, and we're talking about the Senate seat. Um, with the 2006 email exchange, you know, uh, Rod, um, Rod Blagojevich was not doing what he was supposed to do. And so Rom said, look, I'll write a letter because you're upset about the Tribune, but release this money. Now, with the Senate seat issue, which is what was going on around the election, that's a very different thing. Now we have Obama. Now we have Obama's little pocket puppies that I like to call, doing the work for him. We want Valerie Jarrett, but they didn't say that. What they said is a very special friend. That's what they wanted uh, Blagojevich to do, is put in his friend and not do anything in return for Blagojevich. All right, Noel, let, let's go through this one by one. All right, let, let's, I'll write a letter, release the $2 million. Yeah, yeah. Chicago yeah. way, any, any, you're laughing, any legal issues? Well, I mean, look, the only thing missing from this story is a Tommy gun, a hat, and a <laughs> slick suit. I mean, you know, we all know that Rahm Emanuel is nothing but a political gangster. And I think now he's become a political liability. What he did, uh, the question is going to be whether it was legal or not. But whether, you know, that's a moot point. Regardless of the fact, it looks bad. I look for him to step down as a result of this. And one of your first clues is the fact that Sarah Feinberg, one of his long-term aides, has gone on to find another job. And one of the first things you do when you're going to step down is you start taking care of your people. So I think this is something to look at because he has begun, he's going to become right. a, a, a liability to Obama 2012. Yeah. No, all right, Tamara, let's go through a few of the specifics. Is John Harris on the stand sure. today. And, and they're playing these tapes, and, and Blago is talking about how if in exchange for appointing Valerie Jarrett to the Senate, well, that could get him a U.N. ambassadorship. He could become Secretary of Health and Human Services. Also, Obama sent a union leader to, to meet with Blago to discuss the appointment of, of Valerie. Emanuel made the call saying Obama wanted a close friend appointed. Seems to me the White House is being, and the president himself is being brought right in the middle of this. And this, by the way, on the heels of, of what was happening uh, within the Romanov case and the Sestek case. Seems to me the Chicago way was working pretty well before he even got into the White House. Well, right. I, I couldn't agree with you and Noel uh, to more. But what's interesting is that, that Obama did send two union officials over to Blagojevich's office. He made a call. He had Rahm Emanuel make a call and say a special friend. Um, one of the union officials actually met uh, met. Blagojevich at the election night in Grant Park here in Chicago. So he was definitely putting in who he wanted. They also wanted to make it very clear that they did not want Jesse Jackson Jr. for whatever reason. Well, so well, it's well, really well, well, interesting. Well, well, well. Is it? Uh, they don't want Jesse Jackson Jr., but there's also a report in one of the, the, I think it was the NBC affiliate in Chicago, that Obama didn't want a getting out, this is Blagojevich saying, uh, because he didn't want to be seen as pushing somebody who was black. Is that true? 
Well, you, you know, I, I've heard that there are certain issues with that. I don't know if this is a race issue at all. You know, Emil Jones is also a black uh, person, and there were issues about not appointing him. So I, I don't know. But I do know that Obama is, is in, the, in this. I know that Rahm Emanuel is in this. And they need to come out, and they need to testify. They need to clear the air. Yeah. All right, Noel, right. Noel, from a political standpoint, do you think the president's got any problems here as this unfolds? Oh, I think this is one of its worst nightmares. I, I, I think that this is, I think all their hands are black on this. I think it's really bad. All right, we're going to watch I think this is it. why, <laughs> Go ahead, Tamara. this is why the judge needs to make him testify. The judge is the one who's in control of this, and he needs to bring Obama forward. Wow, that, uh, that would be explosive. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I hold my breath. <laughs> Certainly, Rombo is going to be uh, testifying, I think, before it's all said and done. Uh, no wonder why he's talking about retiring. Guys, thanks Absolutely. for being with us. <laughs>